Hello friends, thank you for coming to learn with me today. Today we're gonna go and check out my playroom. It's got a lot of my favorite things in it and I can't wait to share it with you. What do you think, Chips? Are you excited? Come on, you can come along too. Let's go. All right, Chips, here we are in the playroom. I love it here. I've got all my favorite things, my blocks, the dinosaurs, all of my cool toys and friends. It's really fun here. And one of my favorite things are my books. I keep them all in the playroom, so that way I can read them whenever I like. And I have some really neat ones. I'll show you. This one we really like to read. It's about a buffalo. It's got funny pictures and a great story. And we've read it quite a few times. I like it. But um, yeah, we've read it quite a few times, haven't we? Hmm. And I kind of know how it's gonna end. So maybe we'll try something else. Hold on, let's try this one. This one is really neat. It's about a squirrel who does all kinds of funny things. And the kiddos look at him out the window and yeah, we, we read about that, didn't we? It's cool and I, I love it, but I know how this one ends too. Hmm. Well, I love all my books. I think they're great. And I'll read them again, but what if I wanted to try something new or go on another adventure with a book? Where do you even get new books? Hmm, let's think. I think what I need to do is make a thought bubble. We need to make a thought bubble. Take a deep breath in. Now hold it. When we're ready, we breathe out. Whoa, look at all these bubbles we made. How do we figure out where new books come from? Let's look at some of these bubbles. What about this one? Hmm. This bubble has a playground with slides and swings, but I don't remember seeing any books. Let's try another one. What about this one? Fruits, vegetables, and even milk? That's the grocery store, but I don't get books from there. Let's try one more. What about this bubble? Wow, that building looks really interesting. It's a library. I think a library may be the answer to where we go to find new books. That's it, a library. Glad we thought of that. Let's go check it out. I've got my bag here. Let's go. Hey friends, we are at the library. It's such an amazing place. There's books everywhere and computers. I don't even know where to start. I guess I need to ask someone for help, but when you're in a library, who do you ask for help? Hey, what's that sign say? Need help, ask a librarian. What's a librarian? Hi, I'm Miss Yolanda, a librarian. How can I help? Well, hello, friend. My name is Miss Fish, and I came to the library to learn about all the things here. But what is a librarian? Before I tell you what a librarian is, let's talk about what a library is. Okay. Library is a really special place that you can come to when you're looking for information. If you have questions, if there are things that you want to know, or if you're looking for things like books or audiobooks or DVDs, if you need to use the computer, there's so many things that you can do at the library. That's amazing. It is. And a librarian is someone who makes sure that all of those things are here for you when you come to visit. So what do you like to read? Oh, I like to read all kinds of things. Um, let's see, I think I wanna find something with an adventure and maybe lots of really pretty pictures and somebody who looks like me would be amazing. I think I know the exact book for you. Oh, that would be great. Follow me. And the book is May Among the Stars. What else can I do while I'm at the library? Well, you can do lots of things, but how about you take a little time to walk around and see if there's anything else that you might like to read. I'm gonna do just that. Let me know if you have any questions.
wait a minute. What is this? Um, Miss Yolanda? I kind of don't know what these books are all about. Well, Miss Fish, how can I help? Well, these books are all different topics and different languages, and I don't, I don't know any of these languages. Well, remember, the library is for everybody. Oh, and yeah. And for folks that read in different ways. Okay, well, I guess the question is, what kind of different ways? Like, upside down, or in, at the zoo, or maybe underwater? Well, you could do all of those things, but these books, are for people that speak different languages. Hmm. So we've got books that are in French, we have books in Spanish, in Arabic, in Nepali. We've got all sorts of languages for people to read in our children's international collection. Well, that's pretty cool. There's all types of languages and topics and different books with bumps on it. Oh, that's the book I was just looking at. Oh, well, hi, friend. Hello. My name is Kyle. I'm a white woman with short brown hair in a strip of curls on top of my head. Well, that's different. Hi, friend. My name is Miss Fish. Why did you introduce yourself like that? I often describe what I look like when I meet new people because it can be helpful for a person whose eyes don't see very well. Huh, that's new. How would you describe what you look like? Oh, that's a great question. Um, I am a brown woman. My name is Miss Fish. I'm on a purple shirt with a fish on it. It's one of my favorite fish. And I have dark black hair with twists all over my head and a really big smile. Um, Miss Yolanda, how would you describe yourself? Well, I am a black and Native American woman. And my hair is in small dreadlocks that hang down to my ears. I wear glasses and I always have on my sneakers. That's pretty cool. I like your description too. That would help people who can't see, but what are these books with the bumps on it? And how does that work when it comes to people who maybe can't see well? Well, some people don't use their eyes to read. They use their fingers instead. So this book has bumps on it, dots, and we can touch those with our fingers. They're like the printed letters. They are the words of the book. And what is that called? That's Braille. Oh. I think I've heard of that before, and it helps people who can't see read. Yes. I like that a lot. Well, where do you get a book like this? Some books that have Braille come from the American Printing House for the Blind, right here in Louisville, Kentucky. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's amazing that they can do that. Miss Yolanda, you were right. The library really is for everyone. And Kyle, thank you so much for telling me all about Braille and teaching me to make sure I explain myself so other people can see me with their ears. That was pretty neat. Miss Yolanda, thank you so much. I think I'm ready to sit and read my books because I'm gonna have to go home soon. And I wanna make sure I read as much as I can while I'm here. Well, you can take your books home. You can borrow them with library card. Library card? Do you have a library card? I don't think so. Oh, let's go get you one. Okay, Miss Fish, here's your library card. I get my own library card. You do, you have to keep it safe. And one thing that you have to do is to sign your name on your library card. I can do it. All right, now it makes it mine. Oh, let me have it back. There you, you go. You gotta scan it. Let me get those books checked out for you. So we're gonna scan them. There's one, two, and here's your receipt. Now your receipt's very important. It has the names of the books, the date that you checked them out, and the date that they're due back in three weeks. And if you need them any longer than that, you can call the library or even go online to renew them up to three more times. That way I can read them and make sure that I get all the way through them. Absolutely. This has been so much fun. I'm so glad I get to take these books home and read them. I can't wait to see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye. We had such an amazing day learning about the library. We definitely got the answer to our question, where do books come from? Chips, it was so much fun. We met Miss Yolanda, who's a librarian. She took us all around the library and showed us how it works. While we were there, our new friend Kyle told us all about Braille, which is a way for when people's eyes may work differently, they can read books with their fingers. It was so cool to learn all about. And I got my library book. I can't wait to read it to you, Chips. It's so good. The great thing is, I've got my library card, so I can go back on another time and get more library books to read. I'm so excited, and I'm so glad you got to go with me. See you next time.